KBG Missoula, this is Missing Zhongguo. Now I am in Zhongguo in China, in Beijing. Uh, actually, we are in the Temple of the Heaven, a place where the emperors uh, sacrificed or did the ceremony to sacrifice, to worship the heaven and all. So Mr. C, You've been here. Uh, you've been in China for how long now? One week. One week. Uh, what do you think? Well, I'm, for one thing, I'm um, grateful at the uh, constant attention I receive from the Chinese people. They think that I'm Leonardo DiCaprio, <laughs> and so I'm constantly being asked for autographs. Oh, nice. Uh, I am uh, very curious about the uh, scooter culture here. Mm. The scooters appear to have the right of way over everybody else on the street, even the bicycles, <laughs> and definitely the pedestrians. Pedestrians are the lowest on the pecking order when you're in traffic. So if you come to China and you're walking in the street, be very careful because you could be hit by a bicycle, by a scooter, or even a bus. Oh no. Uh, is that dangerous? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't care. It's, it's. I'm not going to go into someone else's country and tell them how to conduct their business. Mm. The um, food here is fantastic, mm. and it's fantastically cheap. Mm. So, Dr. Sang and I, for instance, can eat a meal at some places for about four dollars. Wow! A, a delicious full meal of healthy food. For and each of us? No, both. Oh, really? Four dollars, yes. We, we ate a couple days ago, a few days ago, we ate for four dollars each meal. Um, and then uh, another, and speaking of the food, this is very, something very good that China does, is uh, the healthy food is affordable and the junk food is what's expensive. Mm. So if you want to be fat and unhealthy, then you have to pay lots of money to, to be so. And that's if they, we did that in the United States, uh, we might have a healthier population. And if that offends people, that's too bad. It's just the truth. Well, another thing about China that I like is that nobody is worried about, uh, nobody dodges the truth because they're afraid they're going to hurt somebody's feelings. Sometimes we need to face the truth even if it's unpleasant, right? Mm. And, um, I enjoyed the bullet train. Oh, very nice. Can we yeah. talk about that one uh, the next time? Okay, oh, I'm sorry. We'll talk about that one the no. next time. Yeah, because my arm is very sore holding this phone. Uh-oh, I don't want you to have a sore arm, Dr. Sang. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, we'll talk later.